Most of Baldwin County is without well, power this morning as we look at the number of outages there. And if you've been paying attention to the radar, you will see the eye wall of Hurricane Sally that is creeping up through Baldwin County, uh, some of it impacting the eastern shore. And that's where we find uh, News 5's uh, Colleen Peterson, meteorologist Colleen Peterson, who is out in the elements. It is, we saw a little bit of the, the calm, or we're hearing about the calm in Orange Beach, but we're seeing the wrath of the storm in Daphne there, Colleen. Yeah, I'm right in the heat of it in the eye wall of Sally. If you're tuning in from Daphne, Fair Hope, or anywhere along the eastern shore, this is the worst part. So we just have to buckle down right now. I'm clocking in periodic wind speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. So we're on the northwest of the eye wall. So we're getting that northeasterly flow. So I'm going to turn this way and see what we can clock in together. Uh, right now, we're seeing a. Uh, Consistent speeds up to 50, 60, 68 miles per hour, but we're, we're periodically seeing uh, speeds up to 90, 100 miles per hour here along the eastern shore. Also flooding, we've had a lot of uh, storm reports of trees down. Even looking around me, you can see debris uh, covering the streets. I've been seeing limbs falling from uh, palm trees. Uh, this is a very dangerous situation. Again, in the eye wall of Sally, made landfall at 5 o'clock a.m. this morning, so an hour later. This is a very slow-moving storm. We're going to have at least another hour of feeling these strong winds here in Daphne, and then it's going to crawl its way more northeastward, but persistent rain still throughout the day. Again, reporting live here in the eye wall of Sally. I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson. Back to you guys. All right, Colleen, thanks very much.